what's going on youtube it's your boy og man and today we got they will never let ice spice fall off now i seen this post on instagram of her twerking without smile if you know you know that just goes to show you that just goes to show you most of these females don't want to be out in the streets hanging with their friends um yeah let's see what Hello, Yasmin Extras, my boy. Make sure to go subscribe to him. Talking about now today. You dig? What's pop, y'all? What's good, Looks man? Looks like I was right about this rollout. We might be getting something from Central C. Like Tight. I said a little bit earlier when people were saying that Central C or we're trying to push this narrative that Central C was carrying little Baby, this and that. Oh, yeah. If y'all haven't seen that video, go go check it. Go check it out back in my yeah on the band for band song because Lil Baby hadn't had a hit in a while and I was saying that Lil Baby was contributing a lot not only to the song but with his brand in America like Central C he had that song Doja after that that song that song had a long lifeline but after that people weren't really paying too much to his regular singles of course he gained some fans from it but he needed something else that was going to make him hot here again. So that's a little baby song. And I said they're trying to do or they're trying to accomplish getting Central C to cross over. Like I said, he signed to Columbia Records, which is an American record label. I don't know the details of the deal. Initially, they were saying it's just for his music to be distributed in uh, North American territories. Some are saying that it's now actually like global. I don't know the deal with that. Because when you look at the songs, they're on Spotify, at least. They are by Columbia. If it were another label for the UK, it would be in the UK. However, when I am opening up Spotify, I'm on the uh, US platform, right? I'm listening to it from the US. So there is that. Maybe, it, I don't know if that's a thing. If you listen to it from other places, does it show a different distributor if that distributor has the rights in that territory? Because there are definitely songs like that. But anyway, we're, we're going to get directly to the point after me yapping at you for a minute or two. But that was relevant context to bring in the news that, quote unquote, news, <laughs> that Central C is supposedly dating Ice Spice. This is an... Oh, that's not true. My baby, I hope that's not true. I hope I won't have to crash. You know, as a matter of fact, do you lotto my bitch and i'm just like yeah all lotto fans calm down that's my queen she's not a bitch i'm, I'm sorry say it ain't so though nonsense video as you guys know uh, i usually don't really talk about people's relationships at all on this because it's irrelevant however in this case it feeds my point mm -hmm. which is central c crossing over number one i I see you trying to get that money, Yasmin, not with me. I'm too broke to share. I think this was an academics exclusive because when I look up the page, that's the first place I saw it. And he has his yellow border over it with his name. Usually that's when he gets it exclusively, but it was posted on their story. So I don't know if he got this other footage. But Central C posts on his story. He's whipping around in the Lamborghini and you see Ice Spice posting on her story that she's in london and she's posting in the passenger seat right mm. we also see another couple of photos as well as footage so you see them walking out of a store which looks like some expensive store obviously it's always some expensive store they're talking inside the store then they're in a urus i think it's the same car it's just different interior so people are saying oh yeah you know he got this chick this is meaningless this started off with ice spice posting something about central c evaluating this i don't care if this relationship is real i don't care if this relationship is fake i do think it is political we should lean towards it being a little bit more political than we think for the following reasons i do think this benefits central c a lot more than it benefits ice spice we're looking at it from the paradigm of this being not fake but orchestrated right Tight. there could be a possibility that they fake or they show themselves together and people think that they're actually seeing each other but it's in promotion for an upcoming song that they have that's a possibility Tight. that's one possibility we can take a look at which would be great promo for the song 
Another possibility is that it's a political thing in terms of a branding thing, a PR thing where they're like, hey, we'll match these two. And maybe they are like into each other, but it started off with, hey, what do you think about this for your career? And number three is, oh, yeah, you know, like they actually just mess with each other, which I don't think would be the case if they did, because I don't think it would be like getting posted this quickly because Ice Spice was with her producer for a minute and was never really flexing it like that. Even when she was somewhat like around Lil TJ, they were doing music together, but Ice Spice has never broadcasted like, oh yeah, you know, I want this man or. That's true, that's true. You know, yes, yes, me, he, he never be in this motherfucking cabin. Never, they, they, he, do, he do come with them straight facts. That is facts, he do come with facts. Fuck is you talking about? Today's sponsor is facts. Fuck is you talking about? No, today's sponsor is me. Make sure to like that video. Road to 10K at 2,300 subscribers. I will start posting long vlogs. Let's get back to the video. This is my man. It's never been a part of her brand. The reason why I think this may not be fake is I don't know too much of a benefit that Ice Spice stands to have for this in her career. Usually, yes, a woman being with a guy helps her career mm -hmm. if the guy is more successful than her musically. Central C makes better music than her, I would say. Does yeah. he have more hits than her? I don't know. Is he as big as she is in America? Absolutely no. not under no circumstance. So this is why I think this helps Central C because all of Ice Spice's fans, most of them being in the US, North America, including Canada, they're getting exposed to central c more and they're like oh central c she's seeing central c all these women fans as well Lil baby he gets a lot of the male fans yes i know women listen to Lil baby but we're talking about the large majority so all the male fans will some of them will migrate to central c's music via that song and their collaboration and i see that song sitting on those charts for quite a while now what about the female fan base right because i believe mm -hmm. he's got some songs for for the chicks a little bit a couple of more slower songs so how is central c going to get them if he's with ice spice all of those chicks are going to be looking after him some light-skinned dude i don't know if he's I, I don't know the guy's background but yeah some light-skinned dude that makes pretty good music he has a hit in the u.s already they're like oh yeah he's the guy that has that song with Lil baby they can migrate to him now so now he's got males he's got females from being with ice spice you know the investment that a lot of these chicks have on social media to their to the relationship that their artist is in. They have a a higher, let's just say, a higher level of investment than a guy does. I think a guy does not really care. If anything, it would make the guy like his favorite artist less because he would just. Let me show you. I don't want to see what you're talking about. I'm trying to get to this video. He would just start blaming her on the chick. Like, yo, this guy's dropping trash since he got into a relationship so central c stands to benefit a lot where does ice spice benefit because a lot of central c's diehard fans are fans of lyricism this is a thing that i've noticed that's a bit of a distinction in the uk uk fans you still gotta have some bars you can't just drop just i wouldn't say garbage but if you're not saying anything not coming up with anything witty they're looking at you like dog what are you doing and if you look at their best performing rappers over there these guys got bars now it doesn't have to be like oh quote unquote lyrical super lyrical as people want to somehow turn into a way to denigrate rappers that are actually doing a very good job but if you look at the charts the best performing rappers there the ones that have the most sold out shows they are somewhat lyrical they're not gonna convert to ice spice fans they're looking at Ice Spice music, like, yo, this is garbage, or this is some random catchy hit with two words that they play at the club when we go buy bottles. So that's why when I look at it, I'm like, huh, how is this supposed to benefit Ice Spice? It, it doesn't look like it should. If I were to put Ice Spice in a relationship with somebody that would benefit her, I would consider Post Malone. I would consider, I think Post Malone's with somebody, I don't know. I would consider a crossover. So I would look towards some pop star. Who's a, who's a popular pop star right now? I'm going to like crack open the list. I would consider a country artist uh, like that. Who's uh, Shibuzi? That guy's, I don't think that guy's a star yet. Like he's got a huge, huge song. I think he's blowing up. Post Malone would make sense. Morgan Wallen, I don't even think that adds up. I think that's a little bit too far out the way. What would people... Jack Harlow, if he if this Jack Harlow decided to come back to hip hop, 
I know he's still rapping, but he's just had this one song that's been on radio everywhere. The dude got the mullet. He got the white boy mullet right now. Jack Harlow, that was specifically dedicated to hip hop, we wouldn't have seen that mullet from him. A Jack Harlow combination with Ice Spice would kill it for both of them. They don't even got to make music together. These chicks would love it. And Jack Harlow had a lot of female fans for a male rapper, way more than normal. I think that would be a good look. So yeah, I'm leaning towards, I'm still, I'm somewhat on the fence. And the only reason why I'm leaning towards this potentially being quote unquote real is the fact that where does Ice Spice benefit? That's the only thing I can think of. Other than that, I would totally say this is orchestrated, which is still my disposition. It's just that one nagging thought in the back of my mind. He ain't got talking about nothing else. Thank you, Yasmin, for this informational video. Make sure to go subscribe to him. But yeah, let's go ahead and read these comments. One thing to note is that Ice Spice has dropped two flop singles in a row that didn't chart. Seem, she seems to be having the same longevity as Lil Pump. Damn. <clears throat> Ice Spice in relationship with her main producer, Riot. This PR. Thank God some money and come. This is all PR stunts. And it's, okay, Central C has Sprinter at the dojo. Hmm. We get we get Central Spice before GTA Six. <laughs> Y'all think it's funny. Hey man, I'm doing the gameplay on GTA Six. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna make this money. Once GTA Six come out, be the first. I'm gonna be one of the first niggas on it. I kid you not. If I'm not one of the first niggas on it, either I crashed out or I'm just damn broke. I'm just cooked. But it's your boy OGT Main signing out. Kitty.